Hello guys, this is Ravron and today I'm going to be completing my trilogy of videos which I call My Gaming History. And today I'm going to be talking about actually two eras um, of my gaming history. One of them is going to be the Silver Age. That is, um, that is the area between my uh, Golden Age, then the end of my Golden Age, and the beginning of my YouTube age, and I will be talking also about the YouTube age, which is my current um, era that I'm in right now. And um, hopefully, in a few years, years I will be able to create a new era. But until then, I will have to uh, try to do that. But um, I think that the YouTube era is going to be be um the longest, so I'm going to try to. Uh, do something with that. I don't know. It's weird. Just forget about it. Uh, so basically, um, back to what I said. Um, I'm gonna start off with the Silver Era or the Silver Age. Um, so basically, um, we're um, at the end of my Golden Era. Uh, what happened was I um, uh, my Xbox 360 actually um got the red ring of death my first xbox 360 ever so um a few months later or no, a month later we actually got a new xbox 360 um to play more games on and that was um that is basically the harbor for um the first half of the silver era and um basically um that was uh, it's basically the same as the Golden Age, but all of, um, but I kind of lost some of this stuff, even though I was actually playing on a profile, uh, Xbox Live profile, my dad's Xbox Live profile, but, uh, I couldn't really, um, I didn't, I don't know, I kind of forgot about it, I kind of forgot about the Xbox 360 for a while, I stopped playing it after about five about five or six months, so a half a year, and, um, I went to, uh, I went to the Wii again, and, uh, since I was getting older, um, this was about 2008, 2000, uh, the Silver Era starts in about the middle of 2007, so this is about 2008, I was about six years old, I had started, um, first grade, and, um, no, I didn't start first grade out, it was about, um, the end, it was about the middle of, um, uh, kindergarten, so I kind of, I kind of tried to, um, juggle school and gaming, and that didn't really turn out so well, so I tried to stay off of gaming for as long as I could, or, per, um, started my schoolwork, try to get as much uh, done as possible because I was kind of falling back on school and uh, I needed to stop something that had been taking up a bunch of my time instead of something like school. So um, I quit gaming for about a year and then when I was actually um when um when I was seven um at the end of the school year in um June I believe. Um, I actually moved to, um, a new state. That is where I am now. Um, th that's the state that I live in now. So, I actually, um, we took the Wii and the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. We took all of that. So, basically, everything that we had, um, gaming-wise, we had, and it was all good. But, um, when I actually got, when I, um, got, when we got to our, no, our new home, we, um, sort of, I sort of didn't have much to do since school had ended, and, uh, I, all I was doing was studying for tests and doing sort of that stuff, but it was school, it was kindergarten, so I didn't take up that much time, but still, when I wasn't doing schoolwork, I was reading or doing something else. And every once in a while, I played some uh, Kingdom Hearts with my dad, but that's about it. So basically, what I, what we did 
was we uh, took um, our, so we took out all of our consoles, we put them back in, we plugged all of our old consoles back in, and I realized gaming, I love gaming, but I didn't have enough time when I was in school to, u to use our consoles, but since it's the summer, I will start doing it. And since um, I moved from one school with a different schedule as another school, as my um, later school, um, I only had a month of summer because um, my old school um, ended, uh, my old school year ended in June. But my new school year uh, started in August, so I only had about a month to uh, play games. So, I um, kind of went all out. I got a whole bunch of new games. I can't remember the names of them, but I got a whole bunch. I completed about five games that summer and um, played about ten more other ones. So, um, uh, that's basically it for the first half of the Silver Era. But um, the second half is more interesting. It actually... Yeah, it's more interesting. So, um, yeah, I, so when I went back to school, I didn't have much time for gaming. So once again, I kind of stopped with my gaming craze. Um, but I still actually played some games in my free time, which kind of kept it going. And if I hadn't have done that, then I wouldn't be the gamer that I would, that I am today. So, uh, I, so at the end of the school year, I went back to my regular summer routine where I uh, used all my free time up uh, playing games and stuff like that. So, um, uh, when I went back to school, uh, this is actually second grade at this point, which is um, which is 2010. This is 2010. Um, I sort of didn't know what to do, so, uh, I, so, obviously, I, um, just started playing my old consoles, I played Viva Piata, I played, um, I think I played a little bit of Oblivion, I'm not sure, but, um, basically, I played, um, just random stuff, uh, Mario Party 8, um, uh, Mario Kart Wii, for some reason, and uh, that's about it. So um, that that school year ended, and um, it was back to summer again. And at this point, I'm 11. It is about um, it's in the middle of uh, 2011, and I am, as I said, no, I'm in t I'm 10 at this point uh, in 2011. So wait, no, no, it's 2011, and I'm nine. So, it's the end of the school year, and I go back to my regular summer routine. Um, I basically did the exact same thing, and um, the school year started over again. Uh, another school year started over again, and basically the same thing happened until I was about... Uh, when I was 11, and that was in 2012. Um, the end of 2012, I really had gotten sick of the uh, sort of thing... Uh, that I had been doing for um, five years, or not five years, um, like two or three years in a row. So I thought, I'm going to do something different. I am going to use this old piece of junk computer that I have not used in a while, and I'm going to play games on it. So um, at this point, we didn't have much money, um, so I tried to um, find free games on the um, hunk of junk computer that we had. Um, so, uh, when I saw, uh, when I w looked on, um, TV for the, for a result, I actually, um, I, uh, I found Roblox. And everyone knows about Roblox. If you don't know what Roblox is, it's basically a, um, it's an online multiplayer, uh, game, it's free, it's, um, free download, and, uh, that was sort of, an, a huge turning point in my life of gaming, 
because that is when I started actually, um, like, putting, like, hundreds of, hundreds and hundreds of hours into a game. And that was actually one of, one of, um, the most immersive gaming experiences that I've ever had. Because, um, in Roblox, uh, when I actually, um, or originally joined, I, uh, saw that there were, uh, I, well, when I initially played Roblox, I actually just played it casually, I played paintball, um, capture the flag, uh, just Roblox, Roblox City, you know, city games, uh, adventure games, stuff like that. How Roblox is supposed to be played, but, when I was about 12, uh, well, when I was about 11 and a half, um, in the middle of the school year, or, no, no, at the, uh, a year had passed, and it was the end of the school year again, I thought that I would go back to Roblox, but, er, I have been playing Roblox all through the year, but, um, and this summer, I had way more time on my hands, so I thought, why not, I, why shouldn't I use this summer and make it into a big project? So that's what I did. I actually, um, I actually found a big military group on Roblox, and I joined it. Uh, that group is called John's Cobras, one of the biggest and, uh, finest military groups of all time, and I was proud to be in it. I was proud to be a soldier of this army, and, um, basically, I'm going to tell you a little history about me and, uh, John's Cobras, and I think that I'm gonna have to save the YouTube page for a fourth episode, so, uh, make sure to watch out for that, but basically, to end this episode up, I'm going to tell you my, um, my, sort of, uh, history with, uh, John's Cobras, so, um, basically, if you don't know how a military group in a Roblox is set up on um, basically there are ranks and uh, to do ranks to uh, make it up ranks you have to go to uh, military uh, train you have to go to the training grounds and train at a certain time to uh, gain a rank and um, at the time there was about 13 or 14 ranks um, there were about two that were Unaccessible one was the Emperor, which was John himself, and the other one was Field Marshal, who were his personal friends in real life, as well as as his most loyal people, his most loyal soldiers, who were, like, the first ones to be in there, like, the first three. There were five Field Marshals and one Emperor, and those positions were basically out of my reach. Um, and I never actually got to that level, but, um, basically, I started out as a private, obviously, because that's how you start off, that's how I started off, and, uh, at that point, I had a, um, I actually went to about two trainings a day, which is pretty big, because those trainings are like two hours long each, and, um, I also went to the Fort, Fort Fang, um, for about two hours a week, or two hours a day, and uh, I've just patrolled and defended, and it was pretty fun. I do admit it was pretty fun doing all the obstacle courses and uh, killing people. <laughs> but uh, I never ranked up in about a six-month area. I never ranked up until the day came. I actually started. <laughs> I actually started like mass like mass training and I went to every single training there was for a month in a row and this took about about 10 hours out of my day um this was another summer um no 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 yeah I think it was my other summer but um at this point I I had joined Roblox I had played that but I uh, stopped playing that for a little while and I went to back to Roblox. At this point, I played Ro uh, Roblox for 10 hours a day to rank up. And, um, I, and finally, after about a week, I actually ranked up to Corporal. And then, um, 
I actually started ranking up like crazy. In about a month or two, I ranked up to um about Captain, which is the seventh rank possible, I'm pretty sure. And that's pretty high. Um, there were only 50 uh, captains. There were only, no, there were only 70 captains in the whole entire army. Um, and the army was made up of 60,000 soldiers, which was pretty insane. So, I was one of the high rank. I was, I was a high rank in training, as I said, and uh, I needed to pass a test to become a major, an official high rank. So I actually did, um, I actually did the training, and I actually did the test, and I passed. I got to major, and then I set my high sights on the high, real, real high ranks, which was um, the next one was uh, colonel, and basically colonel was the highest um, that I could go. Um, uh, besides, like, one more rank. So, I needed to get that rank to become a leader. But, I, unfortunately, I did not do that. I actually, um, I actually became, um, a member of a lot of the divisions, including the, uh, Air Force, the Navy. I actually become one of the highest ranks in the Navy. I got to, like, third in command. And, um, I never really got any work at Air Force because, uh, I didn't really, w I wasn't really active, so I left that pretty shortly. But, uh, besides that, I actually got into the Imperial Guard, which was insane because there is, so how the Imperial Guard works is there are 45, there are 45, um, people in the whole entire thing. And, um, there are a total of 10 people, uh, no, there are about 50 people in the whole entire thing, and there are about uh, 15, 20 people in each uh, reg regiment, which there were three of. I was in the third regiment, and that is my favorite regiment, it is the best. And, uh, so, I, um, there were four ranks, uh, private, corporal, there are, there are five ranks. Private, corporal, sergeant, uh, captain, and commander of each regiment. And uh, for a long time, I was a private, private of my. You know, I was um, yeah, I think I know that it wasn't private, but it was something else. But I can't remember it, so I'm just gonna call it private. So it was private for about uh three months in a row, and uh, I tried to rank up uh to corporal. And eventually I did, and then I ranked up to sergeant, and then, um, when there was new authority, when there was a new captain, or when there was a new commander, I actually got to be one of the three captains. And those are the three most elite people in the regiment. And besides the commander. And I was leadership now. I was in major and I was a captain in the Imperial Guard. So, I set my sights for colonel. I passed the test, I passed the colonel test, and I was a colonel also. So, I uh, actually went to high rank meetings. I uh, was playing 10 hours a day, and I went, I actually held trainings, I gave people promotions, and I did stuff like that. So, um, that's my Roblox story, as well as the story of my uh, silver age, silver age in the, uh, my in um, my gaming history, and I, and in this fourth episode of this trilogy, because of logic, um, I will be talking about my YouTube era, and uh, that is the current era that I'm in. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, favorite, subscribe. Let's watch all my other videos. I hope you guys enjoyed me babble on for 20 minutes. And until next time, this. It's Verbron signing out.